Hmm, big question. Um, I'll take a deep breath, first of all. Um, since I'm someone with a lot of great faith, I would try and... I think the key issues are... I have to start with how we bring up our kids. Starting with them believing in themselves and believing that the world is a good place. That obviously requires education to be in the forefront. But having had the privilege to travel from through many parts of the globe, I've discovered that the things that unite us as human beings are a lot more important than the things that divide us. But we're not exposed, so we come to many issues with stereotypes. And I think kids are great because you know, I'm an African and when you look at kids, kids have to, in the very early ages, they generally do not know black or white, gender, anything. And that's a good starting point because once you believe in the good in your neighbor, that's the first step in dialoguing. So I would then take it the next step and um, this is not my unique idea. In one of the discussions we had yesterday, I believe, someone made the suggestion that for these WEF meetings and other big forum meetings, we've adopted Western style meetings of we meet and we get straight to the point. However, if we could implement a policy of spending the first half a day just to get to know each other, nothing at all with the business we do want to discuss and engage with. The process of getting us to know each other means that we build more confidence with each other. It makes us more accountable to each other. And so really, again, that would boil down to communication. Um, so, in the higher education space, I would say we should learn a lot more languages because that helps education. And I think once we do all of that, have a lot more trust in our fellow human beings and trust in God, definitely the world would be much better and all the other benefits would be easier because we're blessed with lots of resources, lots more resources than people. So.